Hi, I'm the Auto Chef, and today I'm here by request to show you how to make my um, ground refried beans ish um, backpacking meal. Um, it's actually really simple. First, I'm going to explain how I um, got this recipe. Basically, I have a cousin who is vegetarian, and he came over for Thanksgiving for about a week, and lives way off somewhere else, and wanted to come to Thanksgiving, and he liked beans on tortillas with rice, and um, I don't know what else he put on it, but, um, so I tried to think up some good recipes, and this is what I came up with. It's actually quite easy. Um, it starts with, just bring to a simmer, if you can even call it that, um, about four cans of kidney beans. I'm actually using chili beans in this video because I don't have any kidney beans, but use just regular kidney beans because chili beans wouldn't be good. Um, okay. And then you're going to want to use two, two teaspoons cumin. Then you're going to add chili powder which is two teaspoons chili powder and then ground cayenne pepper four teaspoons then garlic powder three teaspoons onion powder two teaspoons you add that to four cans of kidney beans and Basically, you bring it to a simmer, get the flavors all nice and happy, stir them up, get them all going, um, and then take a potato mash or just smush it up um, until it's nice and smushy. Take it, lay it on dehydrator trays, um, let it dry for overnight on vegetable setting, whatever that is for your dehydrator. I think it's like 140-ish on mine. Um, then take it out the next day and it'll be kind of crispy, hard to explain texture, kind of look like the um, meat or hamburger. Um, then just put it in a food pro no not a food processor, put it in a blender um, and it'll turn out like just a fine powder which I showed in another video. And this is three cans right here, which is certainly a lot of powder which is it well actually compared to how much is in a can it's not very much but that's a lot um a lot of good hearty meals i just keep it in the refrigerator it lasts longer even though i could keep it on the counter here forever so i'm the outdoor chef and make some beans okay another point i want to make about uh, these beans are at this um, is a really spicy mix. It's got plenty of flavor, plenty of heat, and it really makes your mouth going. Um, but I would recommend if you're not the die-hard spicy food addict to lower it down a little bit. So maybe put on each one, put like a third of what it says, or two thirds, or take away one teaspoon, take away two teaspoons. But don't sacrifice flavor, because that's all it is. And if you want to take a really bad shortcut, you can actually use the chili beans, smush it out, do make it all the same, and it'll taste good. But that takes away the whole fun of experimenting and making your own. I'm the Outdoor Chef, and have a great day.